Update to a breaking news story we've been following all afternoon for you. A machete-wielding man shot and killed by a deputy in southeast Houston. The man confronted a Harris County Precinct 6 deputy constable this morning at the bus terminal. Channel 2's Jake Reiner has been following the story for you, and he joins us now live. Jake? Bill, this was certainly a first officer involved shooting for two veteran law enforcement officials, one being the deputy constable who was first confronted by this man with the machete, and then the lieutenant who opened fire after the man tried to attack officers with that machete. Oh my gosh, I was scared. My knees started shaking and I was just like, oh my God, you know. Roxanne Herrera was waiting for a bus with her family. She gave this video to Channel 2. She said she saw police tase the man. And then the shots. But it's what led up to that shooting where police say they were in fear for their lives. The suspect went inside the bus terminal. He wanted to buy a bus ticket. He was unable to do so. The last bus left and he was told by one of the employees at the bus that he wanted to get on was leaving. There was no way for him to get a bus ticket at that point is when he became upset. Police say he threatened 10-year Deputy Constable Kat Bazano with a machete and demanded her keys. Then he tried to bust open her patrol car, as you can see right here. He kind of walked around here with the machete, you know, and then the police were trying to calm him down. In English and in Spanish, Precinct 6 deputies and HPD tried to tell him to drop the weapon. He didn't listen, and they tased him. But... That didn't work. The suspect immediately charged towards the HPD officer with the machete raised in a threatening manner, and he struck the HPD officer at least two or three times with the machete. That's when Lieutenant J.D. Rosenthal, a 30-year veteran, opened fire, killing the man. Some witnesses felt that wasn't the right call. Yeah, they, they, they could have used something else instead of just shooting at him. That officer who was attacked with the butt of that machete, we're told, is expected to be okay, only suffering a, fr a few bruises. For now, we're live in Southeast Houston. Jake Reiner, KPRC, Channel 2 News.